Hi there everybody. Today I'd like to tell you about the baits I'm going to be using for the tench and how I like to bait up for them. So I'm going to take you through the rigs that I use, the hooks, the hook lengths, uh, the leads that I use, safety clips, all that kind of thing. And this really catches me a lot of tench and this is how I do it. This is what I use. So have a look, see what you think and if you like it, try it yourself. I mean, it does work, it catches me a lot of tench. So here we have the uh, halibut pellets that I use to put in my PVA bags. They are a very oily bait and they are a very good bait. They've caught me a lot of tench and they add weight into the bag so I can cast further into those hard to reach places. A very good bait. I like to buy them in bulk. I like to buy a 25 kilo sack which is a lot cheaper than just buying the uh, kilo bags but I do go through a lot of halibut pellets. I use them for my tench fishing, my carp fishing and sometimes my barbel fishing when I'm on the river trends. And here's another trusted bait, good old sweet corn. Can't fail on sweet corn, caught me a lot of tench, a lot of bream. And it's only cheap, it's only about 40, 50p a tin from the supermarket. Beautiful. I like to put three to four grains on the hair and a few loose ones in my PVA bag system. Can't fail on sweet corn. And here is the PVA bags that I use, if anybody's interested. They're from Four Thirds. They're quite cheap. I buy them uh, off eBay. And they're a very good bag. I like this size because you can get a, a decent amount of bait in. So, you know, put a few uh, pellets in here, uh, a few pieces of sweet corn. But you've got to be quick because obviously sweet corn's in water and it dissolves the bag so you've got to be quick when you're making them up and casting them out but yeah I've never had any trouble with these bags they're very strong bags and uh, yeah I'm very impressed with them so they can take a lot of bait and they get me uh, bait a long way out into the lake so these are my go-to for my PVA bags Right, so here's the uh, the rig. I've got three grains of sweet corn on there with a 15 pound braided hook length, which is from Nash. And then I've got my running ledger with a small one ounce bomb on there. It's all you need. You know, you get plenty of weight with the pellets with the PVA bag. So there's the rig that we're going to be using. So now what we do, just put the rig on the floor for a minute. I've got my uh, PVA bag, just with a pair of scissors, just cut a little slit into it there. There we go. And then we'll just fill the bag with a few pellets, just like that. We shall get the uh, the running ledger. We'll put the try not to get hooked up onto the buckets. There we go. We'll put the the lead into there. We'll feed a few more pellets into there, just so it uh, covers the lead. And then what we do is we put a few grains of sweet corn just in the PVA bag, not, not too many. And then we just fill it back up with the halibut pellets, just like that. So that should be enough. Then all we do is we tie the bag, it's a bit fiddly be all right and 
And there we go, we've got the end coming out the bag there. And there we go, there's your PVA bag. And then just nip the hook in at the side of the bag, like so. And there you go, you've got a PVA bag all ready to go. So there's my rig with my size 8 hook on with 3 grains of corn. I mean you can use 1 or 2 grains of corn but uh, I've caught a lot of tench on 3 grains of corn. A very simple setup, a very effective setup and it's caught me a lot of big fish. So if you want to try these rigs, why not? They'll catch you a lot of fish, they've caught me a lot of fish. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So yeah, so that's the rig that I use for my tench fishing. It's a very simple and effective rig. It's caught me a lot of big tench in the past and it's going to catch me a lot of big tench in the future. So if you fancy having a go at a very simple rig, try mine. It's going to catch you a lot of tench. You don't have to use three grains of corn on the hair. You can use two or one, but I, I do like a size eight hook. I don't really go any bigger than a size 8 when I'm going for tench, but if there are a few carp in the, uh, in the venue, like there are here, I'll go to a stronger size 8 hook, a thick wire. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll be making another tip video pretty soon, so thank you for watching.